Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for three months from now. Uh, this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, I've already did one for you, but I decided that I'm going to do a new one. Um, I I've already I've had some interruptions. It just seemed like. Uh, I gotta do a new one, and that totally resonates because the first reading, I, the, you know, there was a flip. The, somebody flips, they flip. All of a sudden, they flip, you know, and they, and you take flip in a metaphorical way. Flip can mean many, many things. So I feel like something is coming to a stop. It's coming to a halt. Somebody just decides that they're going in a different direction. It happens just like that. Um, there's gonna be some sort of pause or interruption that changes everything. Um, so just take that for what it is. Be prepared for that. And, and three months from now, okay, something is going to happen and it's going to be a complete flip flop. Okay. It's just going to be, oh my God, you never saw this coming. Um, so this is for Scorpio three months from the date that you watch it. You notice this reading started out differently as the other ones as well. So this is, this is completely off the grid okay this is completely something different it's it's you don't you really did not expect this okay in three months from now something is going to happen that is totally unpredictable um this is all happening for a reason i think things have been uh slowing down per se things have been getting more turbulent or something like that that causes this person to flip um, whether it's you or the other person, because these readings can go vice versa. Um, this may have something to do with work. If you work with this person, or this person uh, meets somebody at their job, maybe it's a new job, something like that. It's something to do with work. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So this is Scorpio, three months from now. I'm going to go ahead and start over. Um, hi. Hi. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for three months from the date that you watch it. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's just start right here. What do we have for Scorpio? Somebody gets this new spark, this new uh, opportunity, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. It's a new sexual partner, a new sexual interest. I don't know if it's you or them. And it happens very, very suddenly, and it changes everything. It does. Destiny, karma, uh, the wheel of fortune. So this is a wheel of change. I don't know, you could be, maybe you're dealing with, I feel like you may be dealing with a cancer. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be, but, um, I feel like your life is about to change. It's about to change on a positive note. Um, you may not see it as positive as it's happening because change isn't easy, but it is. It's a positive thing. Um, one chapter, one phase of your life is over. Um, a cycle. Okay. Something good is coming and you may not see it. You may not see it as something good, but it is something good. Everything happens for a reason, so this is positive change is coming. What do we have for Scorpio? Strength, strength. Um, this is this is uh, somebody else got this card as well. I can't remember. I'm not sure who it was, but you could also be dealing with a Leo. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. But this is finding your strength, finding your courage to persevere through a devastating situation. Obviously, you are going to be in or you have been in or something like that. That has been devastating. Okay, it's been devastating. You may have been, um, you may have experienced a setback. But this is having the courage to, the courage and the strength, the inner strength and the willpower and the discipline uh, to overcome it and look at things from a new perspective. So you are going to be looking at something from a new perspective in three months from now. And this new perspective comes because of a situation that changes your life. Okay. It changes your destination. It changes your future. So you are going to be going through a major life change. And these are both major arcanas. It's a major situation. Okay. 
you're going to be stronger than than you were before in a different way okay your 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 um internal strength is going to um be used put it that way you're going to need to find that strength from within to persevere through this major life change that is about to happen and you're going to be able to okay you're going to you're going to you you may feel uncomfortable when it happens you may feel devastated you probably are going to be devastated but in the end you're going to be a different person and you're going to be stronger and you're going to be looking at life through a new lens One more, please. Two more. Work, achievement, success. Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Shield, you need to defend yourself. You are going to need to defend yourself. And then we have unsuccessful plans. Oh, I get it. So we have something that was unsuccessful. Okay. It's not going to be successful. Okay. Something that is not going to be successful. But your hard work and perseverance is going to lead you to another successful outcome. I feel as though you're going to need to protect yourself from somebody who has been making you unsuccessful. Okay, and and you may not see it, and I feel it feels like you don't. I think that you get yourself into a situation where um, you get hurt in some way. You get hurt by somebody, and this 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 uh, pain changes you. Okay, and it makes you find your a new perspective. It makes you dig deep within yourself to rise above it. So you are going to be digging deep. I think that you are definitely going to be digging deep and you are going to be successful with whatever this situation is that has paralyzed you or uh, brought you down for a minute. You are going to overcome it and you will be successful. But it's not going to be an easy road. It's not going to be an easy situation. It's de you're definitely going to experience something that is going to test your inner strength, okay? And your willpower and your discipline. Because a cycle in your life is coming to an end, okay? It is. It is. And whatever this was, it wasn't... It's no longer a success for you. And maybe it was back then or it started out. Maybe it was a short-lived success. Um, what do we have for Scorpio? Oh, there we go. One fell out. Four of Pentacles. Now that is obsession. Obsessed. Obsessed with money. Obsessed with holding on to something. Hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. Ooh, another four. Um, four of Swords reversed. Now this is exhaustion. Big time. Major exhausted. I need to take a break. Um... Health issues as well. Need to slow down. Oh, eight, uh, something to do with your with a jo job. This may have something to do with this, where you work or somebody that you've been working with. I don't know it's if if you've uh, created something with somebody and it's not going to be successful. There's a level of greediness here or selfishness here. There is. And this is feeling isolated, feeling alone, extremely frustrated with somebody you work with, or in, in you you know you work with people that you live with too. So there's not putting somebody's not putting in effort. They're not doing their fair share. Maybe they're sick all the time, or they say that they're sick all the time, or something like that. Oh, I don't know if you're dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or if this is your energy. This is somebody who doesn't have good intentions, somebody that isn't emotionally available. They may have presented to you with a whole lot of love, but now they're not giving you love. It feels like you're not getting some sort of emotional support from somebody. This person has given up. For some reason, they're selfish or something like that. Um... Now, this is a commitment. Have faith. Believe in, in a partnership, in a union compatible. Mm, somebody is obsessed with having a partner. 
holding on to a partner, obsessed with holding on to a commitment. This is obsessed, okay? Holding on to a partner, holding on to a commitment, wanting to get married, wanting to be together. So somebody that is obsessed with with a partner. There's this obsession. This is. It's obsession. And it's frustrating. So there's some sort of frustrations here. This person is shutting down emotionally. Shutting down. Not giving. Definitely not giving a, a emotional support. Not giving love. Not reciprocating. Um, it doesn't want to be in the commitment. So we have somebody here that is not... Uh, emotionally available they're not putting in effort into the union but we have this other person that wants to hold on for for dear life um but i feel like that we are they're holding on to an abusive situation not seeing clearly um not realizing that whoever they're dealing with is not emotionally available they're dealing with somebody that is very very cold so yeah we have a very cold individual here who um that isn't communicating. This person doesn't communicate well, um, likes to have power, likes to have control. We have somebody here that needs to take ownership of their actions. This guy does not want to be held accountable. Does not want to be held accountable for his actions. Um, we have somebody here that isn't telling the truth. This person um, is looking at another opportunity right now. They're looking at, uh, this is the Ace of Wands, this guy looking at a new opportunity for growth. That's why he has stopped communicating. He has shut down his his feeling, he or she. This person has stopped communicating. They have stopped uh, giving their love. They have stopped reciprocating because they got somebody else. I'm telling you what, that, looking at the Ace of Wands, they're looking at a new partner. They are, and it's somebody that they work with. So we have somebody that, or they've worked with in the past. We have somebody that has shut down their feelings because they are dealing with somebody else. They got this new attraction, this new sudden desire, and that's why they've shut down. So you, you, and I, in my first reading that I did that I didn't share, said the same thing. It did. There's going to be a split, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say that. There's going to be a split because whoever, somebody is dealing with a person that is uh, falling for somebody else. And that's why they're shutting down emotionally. This person doesn't have good intentions. They're not giving love anymore. They don't want to be in the commitment. They're not putting in much effort. Um, there it is. There it is. That was the first card out before. Uh, this is coming to a stop. Something is coming to a dead stop. And I think that the... You, I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, and the cancer was very prominent in the last reading. Cancer, Leo, uh, Pisces, another Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, whoever you are dealing with is not emotionally available anymore. They're not. It's like they don't want to do this. They don't want to move forward. Um, they're dealing with another person, and that's why. That's why. And they've been hiding it. They've been hiding it. Um, There's some sort of reckless behavior, and there could be a sudden departure here. The Knight of Wands reversed. This is somebody who has a chip on their shoulder, doesn't want responsibility, can be, uh, loves competition. This is somebody who is overly competitive. This is somebody that boasts, um, is a show-off. So we definitely have a show-off here that needs constant attention. And it feels that as when, as when, when the going gets rough, this person gets a going, gets looking. Okay? Looking elsewhere. 
So I think whoever you are dealing with is not putting in much effort because they give up, they're giving up on the relationship. They're giving up on the union uh, because there's somebody else. And I think this person has entered their life all of a sudden and there's a, there's some sort of attraction here. And that's why they're not communicating like they used to. They're not giving you the energy. They're not putting in effort because they're communicating with the other person that they are now sexually attracted to, whoever this person is. Um, I and I'm sorry to give you this message, but I feel like, and I feel like it, it really is, is, is a, a terrible situation to be in. You may, you may feel devastated by this. This is devastation. It is, but you, in the end, you will be stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So this is going to give you some sort of strength. It's going to give you some sort of internal strength that you never had before. All right. You're going to be looking at things in a whole new light. If you see a dog, a dog is a symbol of loyalty. This is this is going to realize what loyalty is. It's going to help you to realize. It's going to uh, make you um, want. You may just want to be with your dog. You might be like, you know what? Fuck this. I, the only person I can trust is the dog. That's what I just heard. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm good. I'm good by myself. I'm, I'm going to go with my dog, whatever. Um, dog is man's best friend, right? You don't have to worry about a dog screwing you over. Anyhow, I feel like, um, there is going to be a sudden departure in three months from now with somebody. I don't know if it's somebody you work with because it's more something to do with work here. There's going to be somebody that leaves suddenly because they got their eye on another prize. And I think there's been some sort of mental abuse here. And, and and maybe it's the silent treatment. This person just stops talking. They stop communicating. And that is a form of that is a form of abuse. This person, whoever this person is, or they say really start saying really mean things. It's almost like they're trying to push you away. They're trying to push you away. That's the easy way to do it. Um, I think that there's that you are there's probably gonna be an emotional outburst ahead. Okay, that changes everything. Whoever you're dealing with is probably going to flip. There's going to be a flip out. Somebody is going to flip out and they're going to flip out because they just don't want to be in the relationship anymore because they got their eye on somebody else. And that's who they've been talking to and that's who they've been thinking about. And, you know, they've been hiding it. And they've been hiding it right up here. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide it. They're hiding it. But the, it's like they get to the point of extreme exhaustion and extreme frustration where they burst. They burst. I do feel like somebody is going to burst. Um, and I think there's going to be a split. i got to be honest with you. But this is all happening for a reason. It's It's changing your future. One more card for Scorpio. What is the overall outcome? Mm, Queen of Pentacles reverse. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but this is um, a loss, okay? In reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is suspicious, possessive, stubborn, wasteful, jealous has no value, not giving anything, throwing it away. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to decide to well you can't fight gravity, it's slipping away. It's slipping away. You can't you can't hold on. You're gonna have to let it go. Somebody's letting go. They're letting go. They don't see any opportunity. They don't want to be in it. They don't want to hold on to it. They want to let... Somebody is letting go. This person is jealous anyway. There's jealousy. There's possessiveness issues here. One more card. 
I think you need to protect yourself. You need to protect yourself. Whoever you are with may have been using you. They may have been using you. Using you for money. And there's, uh, there's uh, a lack of, aware lack of awareness here. Somebody hasn't been following their intuition. You're dealing with somebody that is uh, untrue, put it that way. They're very alluring. They project themselves to be somebody that they are not. This person um, probably doesn't get, a, if it's a female, doesn't get along with other females very well. I think we have a feminine that is, is, well, obviously we have a feminine and a masculine. I see a split here. There's a secret that is about to be revealed. Somebody has been hiding their true feelings. They've been hiding that, that they are interested. They have a new vision. They have a new spark. They have a new partner. They've been hiding it. That's about to be revealed. So in three months from now, somebody that has been not telling you the truth is about to be revealed because there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead because this person gets so frustrated that they burst. Or you do. Somebody's going to burst. All is not as it seems. Somebody is not telling the truth. And something has been hidden. And, and it's going to come to light. It absolutely is going to come to light. And it's going to change everything. I'm sorry, Scorpio, but that is exactly what we have going on here. We do have a we have somebody that is getting into a new partnership and it happens very fast it happens suddenly all of a sudden there's somebody that is a better match and they decide to um, go that route good luck <laughs> 